and then you can actually click this little color wheel <gasps> wait it's a so we actually have the color wheel so it wasn't a prank after all okay wait <gasps> where'd it go are you gonna come back out does it <gasps> oh my gosh <gasps> Oh, what? This, this this is not Blockburg. This is not Blockburg. What? What? It's update day. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Okay. I don't know. My milk carton. Wow, it's been so long since I've been here. I can't believe it. Hello, guys. Blockburg has updated. And I have no idea what to expect. Let's go ahead and go into the... Should I go into the update notes? It's been one month. We've all been waiting very patiently. And I'm super excited. Okay, so this is version 0.11.6. What? They added an RGB color wheel. Wait a second. So that April Fool's prank was kind of like a foreshadowing. <laughs> they added 11 new materials in build mode. Added solar panels that reduce house bills. Added ability to cut grass plants with weed trimmer or lawn mowers. Added a bird, butterfly, and bee effects to select objects. Added new foods and ability to make jars of jam, fruits, and vegetables. Added new plants and miscellaneous outdoor items. General animation improvements and a major in major insect fixes. <laughs> what? Major insect fixes because, you know, major bug fixes. Wait, this is such a really interesting update note list. Unexpected. Color wheel. Okay, let's go in straight into build mode, guys. Let's go. I'm going to pay my bills. Uh, let's go into build mode. I'm very excited to see this color wheel. Let me go ahead and see what we can do. Oh! <gasps> Wait a second, that is so smooth. Wait, when you click, when you color something, it pops out right here on the side. And then you can actually click this little color wheel. <gasps> Wait, it's a, it's, it costs block bucks. Are you sure you want to buy this for 600 block bucks? Wow, color wheel access. Okay, yes, sure, I'm doing it. <gasps> is this like, wait, <gasps> what? What is this? What? That is so cool! Oh my gosh. Okay, so we actually have the color wheel, so it wasn't a prank after all. So you can okay, so here's the color wheel. You can literally choose any color you like. Okay, here's what it looks like. 600 block bucks. This is a crazy feature, guys. So you can do that and then you can make it like darker, lighter as you wish. You can set it as like your your like favorite color code as well. Like you can add your own swatch list. Whatever colors you like the most, it will save as well. So once you choose your shade, like from the color wheel, click on this the swatch, like this plus sign swatch right here. You can click on that and then you can save it. If you like pink, you can click on this one and you can save that. So you can have favorite color palettes or swatches. I'm gonna call it swatch. It's a swatch. Color palette. I guess palette. Yellow P color, and I can save it if I like. So wow, that is awesome. I mean, a lot of people are gonna be really happy with that. Cool. So yeah, you can have your own custom colors with the color wheel. Um, I think these are like your recently used colors. What is this? I don't know. I have to get used to this for sure. So it tells you the exact amount over here as well. You know, UI changes for sure. And I love the enemy, like the the smoothness of like the swatches come out. The palette, palette, swatches, palette. Oh, and there's also new materials. Okay, let's take a look at all the new materials. There's 11 new materials. If there's 11 new materials, I'm just going to make like 11 individual like wall pieces. So one, two, three, one, two, three, six. <laughs> And 11. Okay, let's take a look at the new materials. Please tell me we have a new, like, modern wood, like, texture. I don't know. I don't know, how, like, how to describe the, like, modern wood texture that I wanted. Okay, so, okay, I can already tell. The first one we have here, I'm just gonna start from the bottom. Wood deck tiles. That is a brand new texture right here. Yes! Anything like a wooden texture, my favorite already. I love it. Okay. <laughs> Maybe they could have... Oh, wood grain. Wood grain is a brand new one as well. I've never seen this one before. I'm going to put that in hurricane gray. Wood grain. Herringbone brick pa pa pavers. Pavers. That is also another new texture. Circular stone. That's a brand new one as well. Ooh, that is really cool. Mode grass pattern. Mode grass pattern is new as well, and it's uh, I'm gonna make that green. <gasps> it actually looks like grass. Yeah. Okay. Mode grass. Small flowers. That's another another. Why is it? That's another new texture. That is cool too. 
Like, how can I see this the best? I'm gonna make it yellow. Buttermilk. <laughs> Yellowish. Okay, so far we have... I found six of them. Small leaves. That is a new texture. Small leaves. Oh, I love that too. Okay, I'm not gonna say, like, anything different besides I love that. I'm, I'm sorry. I just kind of, you know, I kind of woke up a little bit. My brain's not... I don't have vocabulary. Okay, the next we have is large flowers. Large flowers? Did I just look at that? Large flowers. No, large flowers. Mowed grass lines. You don't have to do, like... Oh my gosh, this changes so much now. This actually changes changes so much so pe before when people did like mowed grass lines they just like you know put two different types of flooring here and then color them differently you don't have to do that anymore now you know you don't actually have to do that anymore it's kind of like its own texture large leaves since it is leaves i'm gonna, I'm gonna also make that green yeah large leaves i love all of them I'm, I'm sorry i just i love all of them. anything new i love it large leaves. the last thing we have is this small square plaid pattern and that has to be it because it is the 11th one Right? It is the 11th one, so this should be it. Okay, let me count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So yeah, these are all of the brand new 11 materials. I found them. I found them, okay? When you play this game so much, these are all of them. I, I, I am in love. We have brand new materials, guys. Something I've been wanting. Color wheel, which is something we've been wanting. Okay, materials. Okay, what else we have? Um, let's go into build new and see what we have. I'm super excited. Oh, oh, there's. So <gasps> Wait, is that a beekeeper? Oh, that's a beehive house. Oh, <gasps> okay. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Um, take a look at some of these windows. Hold on, I'm gonna put another, like, you know, I'll put, I'll put another wall down. We have ourselves a screen porch window. A screen porch? This is so, like, spring summery. We also have a screen porch door. <gasps> Yes, a porch door. That is so cool. Next we have are some garden loppers. I don't know why I put it back here. We have garden loppers as well. A pair of garden loppers for pruning twigs and small branches. Uh, I'm gonna put that in my update area over here. Oh, I think it goes on the wall. I'm gonna put it like, I'm gonna put it on the sign real quick that says hazardous materials. <laughs> we also have a garden hand cultivator. I should put it on the table, honestly. But we also have a stone garden bridge. A stone bridge that will get you to where you want to be. It can be resized with skill. What? An actual bridge? Wait, we don't have to make like build hack bridges anymore. Well, you probably obviously you still could, but you don't have to like go all through all of that work. Okay, I'm gonna use that. Okay, hold. I'm going to copy this texture right here. <gasps> A bridge and you can rescale it. You're kidding. You're kidding. You're kidding. You're kidding. You're kidding. Oh my gosh, it could be a thick bridge too. I'm gonna keep it like this though. Oh my gosh. I love how it says stone garden bridge, but I made it a wooden bridge. <laughs> we also have a rope garden version, which is a lot. Yeah, this one's a bit thinner. This one's a smaller by because it takes up like one tile, you know? I mean, it takes up three tiles. It only goes out this way. Okay. I can't believe we- I can't believe I'm saying that. We have bridges. <laughs> we have bridges. Of course we have bridges. The next we have is a cherry blossom tree. Perfect for the spring season, guys. Perfect for the spring season. An actual cherry blossom tree. Oh, I'm gonna use all this a lot. Okay. It looks really cool, too. It's using, of course, one of the brand new textures. A full-on cherry blossom tree. Let's go over to the, the beehive house. We have a beehive house right here. Like, beehive- <gasps> Bees! Okay, we have bees, apparently. It says, okay, one of the things was added bird, butterfly, and bee effects to select objects. Okay, okay. A wooden beehive house. Sometimes you can collect tasty and healthy honey from it. So it's it, obviously very interactive. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to use that. Um, we have a stacked stone fence. Ooh, a new type of fencing. <gasps> this is awesome. Wait, this looks so good. Oh, I can't wait to use that. Oh, I can't wait to use that for a build. We also have a round pole fence. Classic Nordic style round pole fence. So here's what this one looks like. I've actually never <laughs> seen this before. I don't think. I've never seen this type of style of fencing before. So I'm definitely learning something by just seeing it here in the game. That is beautiful. We also have a coiled garden hose. So let's go ahead and I'm just going to put that there. We also have a bag of soil. So it is stackable. They tell you that it's a stackable bag of soil. There's a standing one and just like one that's just, you know, flat on the ground. Oh, so there you go. It's called a garden in soil then we also have a seed package uh so it's a little baby seed package look at that i'm gonna put it there and once again it is stackable so there you go so have a turf trooper weed trimmer so it can actually cut your lawn what it can trim your lawn whenever it needs trimming oh, i wonder okay well, well guess we'll have to figure that out i'm gonna put that on my light pole here i'm gonna put on my electricity pole 
But that looks cool too. That looks that looks really okay. We also have a new berry bush. An actual berry bush, guys. Oh, once again, another use of the brand new texture we got. Oh my, that's so cool. That is so cool. Wait, I'm gonna be putting that everywhere. And you can color, of course, the berries itself. So if you want like pink berries, you can do that. You want brown berries. Next we have is a garden noob, another type of noob. Oh my gosh, it's been a while since we got a noob. We only had one noob, right? Just one noob statue. We had a festive elf noob and then a regular noob and now we have a garden one garden noob it's kind of like a garden gnome but it's a garden noob i think this is definitely yeah it's a gnome look at it it's wearing a gnome hat gnome shaped hat so this is pretty much our type of like garden gnome in the game but it's a garden noob of course so there's a little mushroom here there's a leaf above its head <gasps> and it's got like dirt underneath it that is so cute. That is cute. We also have a fancy garden bridge. We're not done with the bridges yet. Oh, wow. Oh, we got a fancy garden bridge. Fancy bridge. It's kind of like a zen bridge, you know? Kind of reminds me of like a zen bridge. Yeah, and there's also a simple garden bridge. So this one's like a bit more on the flatter side of things. Um, but yes, once again, still rescalable. I love how like... That's a big bridge. There you go, your fancy bridges. This is reminding me of, like, I know bridges are, like, a normal thing, but, like, I can't help but think of Animal Crossing because the bridges, you know. I think of Animal Crossing, but bridges are normal things, not just Animal Crossing. But just, like, the look of it, you know, the style of it, like... If you played Animal Crossing, you know, like, this bridge right here. I think this one especially, and then this one. Okay, the next thing we have here is an insect hotel. What is this? What? This is so random. This is so- This is so cool. Place this in your garden, you might see a surprise. What? This is by far the strangest thing I've ever seen. Oh, so it hangs up on a wall as well. My garden is not over here, but I'm gonna put it- Oh my gosh, I don't know where I'm gonna put it. Yeah, let's put it on the pole. I'm very scared to see what happens. Can I, like- you might see a surprise. Oh, I just completely skipped out stuff. Oh my god, I just I just skipped out. What? How did I skip this? Okay, I'm sorry. Berry bush. We also have the strawberry bush over here. Oh my gosh. <gasps> we can grow strawberries. We can, literally can grow strawberries. Yes! A new type of plant for me to just like grow in my hard mode uh series if you guys watch let's have a tomato plant <gasps> tomatoes and strawberries we can grow tomatoes and strawberries and like just regular berries i believe yes oh and onions onion plants oh my gosh an onion plant we also have a hyd hydrangea 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 <laughs> hold on <laughs> hydrangea hydrangea Hydrangea. We also have a hydrangea bush. <gasps> landscaping. Thank you for the new landscaping. I completely skipped out on these, by the way. I am so sorry. Some of you are probably like, Peta, you did not go in order. Um, I apologize. How did I, how did I just literally just skip over that? Wonderful hydra hydrangea. Hydrangea. Hydrangea bush. These are so beautiful. These are so pretty. Okay. Okay. And then we lastly, we have a rose bush in build mode, in the build category. Yes, we can grow those roses. I wonder if you can like pick it and stuff of course all right so those are all the things in build like build mode let's go into decorate new so we also have a new flower welcome mat and this is not limited so it's just a permanent addition so it's a welcome mat with flowers a new welcome mat i've always wanted a new welcome mat look at that it's so beautiful it just says welcome and then there's flowers on it spring summery season i love this update so far guys i'm in i am I, I can't. This is amazing. I can't wait to see the new food. <gasps> okay. Flower pillow. <laughs> a flower pillow. Okay. Honestly, my update, my designated update area is very much lacking. Like, I've put everything elsewhere. So I'm going to make it a big flower pillow. Honestly, you, you could probably just use... You could... You could... Okay. I can see build hacks where people are going to use this as, like, a real flower with, you know, in their yard. Instead of it just being a pillow, it, it probably will be a giant flower in their yard. I can see that happening. Like, put this on top of a pillar or something. You have, like, a flower. Make a custom flower. Make this, like, green or something for the stem. There you go. Custom flowers. <laughs> that's that's what I'm going to see on my Twitter. <laughs> okay. Anyways. A food canning station. <gasps> Ah, I'm so excited! Anything with the food, I don't know, I get really excited. Okay, food canning station. I'm gonna put that on top of a table, actually. Oh my gosh, I have to get used to this color swatch, for sure. When I build, it is constantly jamming. Hold your favorite fruit or vegetable to use this canning station. Okay, so you have to be holding a fruit or vegetable. Noted. Okay, that's how you use it. Oh, there's a step ladder. <gasps> Step ladder, perfect if you ever need to be just a little bit taller. Me, when I'm always a kid. Yeah, there you go. We also have a sun smart. Okay, so we also have solar panels, which will reduce your bills. 
save up okay a sun smart advanced solar panel save up to two thousand dollars per panel for maximum reduction of 20 percent off your bills two thousand per panel how much is it to buy this 20k wow it actually is like useful and it's a good decoration what is the math with this oh this one okay the one next to it the sun smart mounted solar panel saves you two thousand two hundred fifty dollars per panel okay so you have the sun smart advanced and solar you also have the intermediate and economic solar panels as well okay i don't want to buy these these are like curtains are expensive i mean here's what they look like there's what that one looks like and then here's the mounted one which looks really cool here's the intermediate ones these are oh okay so this one's a thousand per panel this one's 1150 for the intermediate ones. And then we also have the economic ones, which will save you 500 and 575. So these are the cheaper ones. Okay, these are the more affordable ones. All right. Awesome. Wait, 500 per panel? That is actually really good. That's that's amazing. Okay, I'm going to obviously put this on top of your, like, roof. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to put it up here. I put, like, one of each. I mean, as much as I want to buy every single one of them, they are very costly. And I don't want to waste my money, you know? I mean, it's not really a waste because I'm saving up on my bill. Is a glowing landscape orb, a spherical garden lamp. Some say if you look deep into it, you can see the future. Fortune teller role play. Fortune teller role play. <laughs> Fortune teller. Palm reader role play scam. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I should put this on a table. That'd be. This would be hilarious to put on a table. And like, I can tell your future. Okay, I actually like that. That's cool. Okay. Okay, so next we have is a... Okay, we already got the garden hose. Oh, a bin of apples. <gasps> apple bobbing. We could have apple bobbing for future fall events. I mean, there's a bunch of apples here, but yeah. A nice little bin of apples. A nice little decoration. I think that's it. Okay, I think I got everything in build mode. Hopefully, I didn't miss a thing. Saw all the new textures, or the materials, and I saw the new color wheel, which is awesome. I still can't believe we have a color wheel. I did not think... Well, I mean, obviously, it was possible. I just did not expect it so soon. The April Fool's prank, where it was just a photo of, like, a color mystery wheel... People are gonna people are gonna freak out. This is this is game changing. Actually, this is game changing. This is game changing. Okay, the color wheel does cost six hundred block bucks, and if you want to know how much robux that is, that is roughly about. That's actually not that bad at all. So you'd have to spend like you know a hundred sixty robux at first, and then if you want like six hundred exactly, buy two twenty robux, two hundred robux total. 200 robux total for the color wheel because it's not a game pass right is it a game pass no it's not a game pass it technically isn't a game pass so to in total 200 robux if you buy 500 and then 250s like simple math i i don't know why i always have to like <laughs> double check my most simplest math all right so let's take a look at these items okay <gasps> you can hold the bags yes you can hold the bags of soil you can um I mean, the garden hose is like a decoration, so I'm not surprised with that. <gasps> you can show the status! Oh, okay, it tells you- Oh gosh, it tells you. It tells you- Okay, thank goodness. My bill reduction is 421. It shows you your current bills and how much you have reduced based off your solar panels. So I'm saving $421, and my current bills are actually 1681 That is really useful to know, like- what your bills are currently and the reduction of it. Here's the apple bin, so you can take apples out of there. Here's the, the crystal ball, the spherical light, of course. Here are the bees, by the way. You can collect honey. So here's what... Oh my gosh, I love the little particles. Okay, wait, they're 2D. They're 2D. Or are they 3... Oh, oh, wow, I love the bees. Particles, save the bees, guys. So we can collect honey from that. Let's go and do that. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, this animation yes oh i placed it backwards but that is okay look at that we have a jar of honey we have a jar of honey what can you do with this what can you do with that i don't know can you like eat it like you know we need the poo we'll have to figure that out so you do have to wait on this for the honey to just like you know there is a cooldown on this so you can't just collect honey whenever you want you have to wait on the bees to make the honey so that's really nice um here's this canning station so you need to equip your favorite fruit or vegetable to use this one. So let's say I wanted strawberries. Yes, let's go and collect these. I want, I have strawberry. Look how tiny it is. Oh my gosh. Maybe it's in my hand. I don't know. It's in my potato hand. Take our favorite fruit. We can can this. <gasps> can strawberries. Can strawberries. Oh, wow. 
Oh, you scoop it up, put it in the jar. Wait, these animations are so clean. These animations are so good. That makes me wonder if they've like changed any other cooking animations. So there you go. You have canned honey. We have canned strawberries. I'll actually let you guys go inside the game yourself to like see what the rest of them are. But but it would have been really neat to have like sound effects for them as well. But that is cool. Look at that canned apples. I actually wonder what we can do with this. Oh, you can eat this one. Canned tomatoes you can eat. You just, you know, spoonful in your mouth. Okay, I'm actually really, really uh, curious about these things. Like, it actually works. You can cut your grass and stuff. But how does this actually work? Oh my gosh. <gasps> look, look at my weed trimmer. The weed trimmers. Oh my gosh. Oh wait, and the lawnmowers actually work too. Wait, so how does this work? Okay, hold on. Does it, do we have to have like grass or something? Wait, let me see. Work in action. In action. The weed trimmer in action. Let's start it up. Here we go. Oh my gosh, it works. Oh my gosh, it actually cuts the grass. <gasps> now I need a lawnmower. Now I need a lawnmower. For fun, it actually works. So here's what the lawnmower went. Oh wait, there's butterflies. <gasps> oh, an insect hotel. Like, look at that. I can see. Oh my gosh. Wait, that's super detailed. Look at that. There's a butterfly. Did you see that? Oh my gosh. Can I hold you? Hello there, butterfly. Butterfly. Butterfly away. Goodbye, butterfly. It literally left. I saw that butterfly. I'm like, what in the world? Okay, let's try this lawnmower now. Oh, yes. Yes. Just cut up the grass. Insect hotel. We already saw a butterfly. I wonder what else we can expect to see. That's really cool. Okay, we also have this um this thing here. What is this called again? Oh, it trims the bushes. Okay, wait. It's a, it's a bush trimmer. Is this just a roleplay thing? Is this more of a roleplay thing? I don't know. Bushes in the yard go a little crazy and then you have to trim them or something? I have no idea. What if I'm like doing this completely wrong? No, this has to be for bushes. Or like maybe it's for the weeds as well, like grass, you know? Okay. Okay. Okay, really cool. That looks really cool. I like the animation for that too. I wonder what other bugs we can expect. Okay, I'm gonna wait for that. Yes, the bridges are bridging. They are bridging. Wow, I can't believe we have bridges. Here are the windows and the window and door that got added as well. Sounds like a normal door. And there's my door testing for you guys. My door test. I rate this uh, an 8 out of 10 sound effect. What we already heard, heard. But I'm actually really glad we have like a type of screen door and screen window now. Wow. Perfect for patios actually. Like for those outdoor like patio things. And then of course our brand new materials that I'm so excited to use. Oh my gosh. Can you imagine this as a floor texture? I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it right now. Oh, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. Oh, yeah. Wait. Oh, yes. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to check out the new foods. Look at this. I changed my flooring texture. This is beautiful. So I think it'll have like a notification to let us know what's new, right? Yeah. We have a mixed berry pie. We have... Oh, that's it. I think that's it. So the only new uh, food we can make is the mixed berry pie, which is understandable, of course. Ooh, yes. Oh, I like how detailed that looks i like how detailed that looks oh yes okay now we can roll it out let's see what that looks like this animation this animation yes we're gonna take a very good look at the the cooking animations now guys honestly we have to okay now we have to bake the pie so let's go ahead and put that inside the i don't think we got any new snacks we got one new uh berry pie yeah, I don't think there's anything else. Okay, please let me know if I did miss out on anything. I'm pretty sure I didn't. Reason, you know? Oh, that cooked really fast. Oh, that baked really fast. Let's go and take that out. Our pie is finished. Look at that, guys. I'm a I'm a skilled baker. So, uh, let's go and take a slice of that. That's what that looks like. Look at that cross section. Mm, delicious. Very good. Uh, 10 out of 10 pie. My first ever pie in this game. Not really. No, it's not. Object. So, if you have a birdhouse, I'm assuming... Okay, wait, wait, wait. There's birds as well. So if you have like a birdhouse, I'm assuming eventually there will be birds. So the insect hotel, I think, is just for the butterflies. The birds come for the birdhouses and the bees obviously go for the beehive uh, house thingy. So let's wait for the birds to arrive, guys. Like they actually animated and added these things to the game. I can't believe it. Oh, what was that? Did you see that? Was that another insect that I just saw? I don't know. Okay, wait. You can hear it go inside the birdhouse. Hello! Chip, 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 chip. There's a lot of birds going over there. I have to know what's going over there. Where'd it go? Are you gonna come back out? Does it <gasps> Oh my gosh! <gasps> oh what? This, this this is not block bird. This is not block bird. What? What? Oh 
<laughs> it's a bird. I mean, obviously that was a bird. What, what do you mean? What was that? That was so smooth. That animation, I did not expect that at all. To be oh, it flew back out. Oh, oh, that was a blue bird right there. Okay, I'm assuming I have a birdhouse over there because the birds keep going over there. Okay, I'm gonna use my block bugs again. Did I put a birdhouse over here or something? I did. Oh my god, literally, I heard a bird. Oh, the bird feeder! Obviously, the bird feeder. Wait. They come more often probably to the bird feeder because they're eating there, yeah? The bird bath, anything bird related. Well, anyway, guys, that will wrap up today's really insane Blockburg update video. I feel like this is one of the craziest Blockburg updates in a while. I give this update a 10 out of 10. I give it a 10 out of 10. Just like the color wheel was already a big thing that they added, but to add like birds butterflies and bees to the game as well and we have something to control i don't know there's just a lot there's a lot in this update but yeah let me know what you guys think about this update in the comments below i can't wait to read all of them this was a really well-made update from the blockbird team thank you guys for all your hard work to everyone who's been working on this but yeah if you guys did enjoy this episode you found it interesting helpful uh informational in a way make sure to give it a big old thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button too because it is completely free and i will see you guys in the next video goodbye there was so much happening in this update like that color wheel is insane like being able to save colors too like your favorite colors use whenever wow